Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yes, I have another unboxing and I must admit I didn't plan on uh, buying any more orchids for uh, upcoming months, but this one, I, yeah, I saw it online and I thought this is for now the only chance that I can uh, buy this one. There were only 12 available of this, uh, this orchid and it's a new hybrid, so it's going to be on the market, but it's not there yet. So it may take several years to, uh, to get there. And this one, yeah, I thought uh, it, it, this, the blooms are stunning. And I think, uh, looking at the size, this might be in bloom. I'm not sure, otherwise I will put a picture of the blooms in. But um, yeah, let's just take it out. I, I, uh, I couldn't believe basically what I saw. It. It's so new and it's completely uh, my taste of flower. So uh, let's open the box. What I did was I already cut the, the cello tape and I did get my address off, but I ha didn't have a look inside. And it just came with the mail. So I like to get it out as soon as I can. Uh, let us see. Yeah, I think it's in spike. Oh, that's amazing. Let's uh, get the tape off and try not to damage every, anything. So yeah, this is a new uh, new hybrid and I will have the link of the seller in uh, on the video description. I met uh, Michael Tips. Uh, I think he made this, uh, this cross and I met him on my first visit uh, to Landsbergen. Actually, every uh, other visit that I uh, did there, he was there as well. Very kind, uh, kind man. And I uh, follow him on Facebook and he had this, uh, did this uh, message there that he had a few for sale. So they, they were hybridizing this one and there were only 12 for sale. And I was in time. It was about an hour online and I thought, well, I can imagine that more people want this orchid because it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I was lucky enough to be at least one of the, those 12 to buy this one. Let me uh, get rid of the box and the tape. It's still stuck to the box. There we go. Putting that on the floor and now try to gently open the bag that came in. There we go. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to see this one beautiful at least on the pictures like i said it's completely my color or colors oh yeah i see buds and we have a bloom we have a bloom i saw the bloom it is more beautiful in real life than on the pictures this is so beautiful ay 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 so yeah you can see whoops i'm sorry it was my tripod let me see if you recognize it. Probably the shape and you see that typical uh, pattern on lip there. Some buds to come. Isn't this beautiful? It's a yellow Ansodopsis in Nelly Eiler. Yeah, with a bit hit of a hint of uh, a reddish purple there on the on the sepals, I believe. Yes. Petals, I think. I'm sorry. I always confuse those two. Isn't it beautiful? I I, I really really like it. So um, just for comparison, I have the original Nelly Eiler uh, Swiss Beauty in bloom. So I will get it, and we can compare. So you can see the the resemblance of uh, of. I think it's the monoplume. I'm not sure which cross he uh, exactly did make, but. Uh, yeah, I will be back with a uh, new shot so we can uh, compare the two together, like I said. Well, there they are. This is the original <laughs> I, uh, original Nelly Eiler, as I, uh, I noticed it. This is the first one that I have a bath, Swiss Beauty. And you definitely can see that this is a, uh, a hybrid of some kind of this one. I probably think that this is uh, maybe a parent or something. It's uh, obviously in the line. And it also already, uh, I did mention the name, but it comes with a tag and it's only, 
uh, is called yellow, so Anthodopsis nelly Eiler yellow. It doesn't have a name yet because it's not re uh, registered yet, I think. Well, I'm actually sure. But this is a new one, and maybe the cross is made before, but for her, for them, for Michael, it's a new one. And I, I'm not sure if there is really such a yellow Nelly Eiler. I, I don't I have no idea. I know there are different varieties, but I never see them so yellow as the as yellow as this one. So yeah, it's a little bit, almost a little bit orangey there, but the rest is obviously yellow with, with some lighter edges on the, on the lip. And um, yeah, like I said, well, even on these, this one of these sepals has a little bit of uh, a orange pink hint, but the petals obviously have that uh, edge of, uh, it's a bit, little bit of reddish purple. It's almost the same color as this one. It's a little bit darker, but uh, it's very, very close. So yeah, I saw a picture of this bloom and I thought I, I, I want it. I'm, I really, really love the yellows. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy to, uh, to be able to buy at least uh, one of the 12. And within probably a few years, this one should be more often on a, on a market. That's the plan at least. But uh, then I have one and hopefully it will uh, grow well for me. I do not have uh, much problems with the Nelly Eilers anymore. So it should be fine. And this one, uh, it's fairly big. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Oops, it's zooming in, of course. As you can see, we have still uh, four spikes. So you can imagine I'm pretty close to it. It's, the fragrance is uh, almost overwhelming, but I love the fragrance. Some people hate it. I love it. I had a sniff of the yellow one. I think I could detect a little bit, but as you can see, it's just opening up and the flower isn't as this side yet. I think it will get bigger and I think the fragrance will come because I already could detect a little bit of fragrance, but so far, hmm, not much yet. But this one, yeah, this big one is uh, giving uh, me quite a <laughs> fragrance. And uh, like I said, I, I think it's beautiful. So yeah, you guys, another unboxing. Completely not planned, but yeah, could I resist such a beautiful flower? No, I can't. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's uh, basically coming to uh, personal taste, of course. But yeah, as you might know, I really love the yellows. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, once again, I will put a link in uh, from the the hybridizer, and you can contact them if you are in the EU and, and maybe they have a few more for sale I, I don't know but uh, you always can try it if you really want to uh, to grow it so um, I think that's for for now thank you for watching and of course I uh, really hope to see you at one of my next videos and uh, if you have any questions please let me know bye bye <laughs>